Salut, bonjour, and welcome back to Just Disc. After playing disc golf for a while, I've had the opportunity to try a variety of different discs. But even being a Innova dominant player, there are still some discs that I have yet to try. Well, I recently picked up the Innova Cayman, one of Innova's newer discs, because I was looking to fill a overstable mid-range gap that I had in my bag. And very quickly, this disc has started to become one of my go-tos when heading out on the course. So today on Just Disc, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Innova Cayman. I'm gonna tell you what I like about it, what are its uses, and what it's not good for. So let's get into it. Now the Cayman was released in 2018, so it's a fairly new disc. It hasn't been on the market that long. And I would even bet that there are a lot of players out there who have yet to try this disc. It's a very overstable mid-range disc, one that is very similar to the Gator, but it's simply more overstable, more of a fade that you can trust. It's a disc that's therefore meant for power forehands and power backhands, where you really need to trust the disc to fade back to the target. For the flight rating, this disc has a speed of 5.5, so Innova's starting to now get into those decimal numbers. It has a glide of two, so this disc does not want to stay in the air too long because it's meant for accurate type shots. It has a turn of zero, so it really doesn't want to move at all to the right if throwing right hand backhand. And it has a fade of four, which is a similar number to the Firebird. So if throwing right hand backhand, this disc wants to heavily fade to the left. Upon analyzing the profile of the disc, you're gonna notice a few things. The first thing is that it has a very flat top. It's not really domey. When you have a domey top, it really means that it wants to glide for long durations. Well, this one's flat, so it's meant for those pinpoint accurate type shots where you don't want it staying in the air too long. So it's accuracy over distance. Another thing about this disc that you're gonna note is simply the very thick and comfortable rim. And mid-range discs have a thick rim so that they can fly slower so that you can control the distance. And it also has a small, very small micro bead around. And this micro bead in this rim and the size of the disc really creates some amazing comfort in the hand. It's pretty much my favorite disc to hold out of all the discs that I own, which is really saying something. So if you're comfortable with it in your hand, that's gonna bring some confidence to you. But also because of this thick rim and this small bead on the bottom, it does extremely well in headwind shots. So if it's a very windy day, you can use this disc and you can trust it to fade to wherever you are throwing it. So I personally bought this disc because I needed a very overstable mid-range that I can trust. And honestly, as soon as I got this disc and I started to feel it and I started to throw it, I just started to fall in love with it because of how good this disc feels in the hand. And if you actually look at a lot of people who have purchased or tried this disc, they say the exact same thing. There's something about it, something about the rim, something about the profile. It just feels so good to throw. It's really becoming one of my favorite go-to discs. Now, personally, I throw this disc backhand and forehand, but I would say I more consistently throw it for forehands. And what I love about it for forehands is that even though it's a 5.5 speed, with that four fade, I can throw it at an 11, 12, even 13 speed type throw. And this disc will fly flat for quite a ways, and then we'll have that guaranteed four fade back, which I'm loving. And what I do get out of this disc sometimes is a skip finish as well, which is really great when you're trying to get to those hard to reach targets around a tree or around a bush. It is good for flex shots if you have enough power, but evidently this disc is not gonna be good for things like S shots. It's not good for hyzer flips either, where you hold it on that hyzer angle, throw it hard, and then it flips up definitely gonna have trouble with that. So it's really just good for heavy fade backhand and forehand shots. Currently, I have two Caymans, both in the Champion Plastic and both max weight and both pink, but I really only use this lighter pink one right now. And the reason why I don't carry a few of them in my bag when I'm out to the course is because it's a very specific type disc. And if I want something with a little bit less fade, you know, a little bit less over stability, I'll just pull out my Rock 3 or my Rock X3. So I do have two, but I only use one at a time. 
So who is the Cayman really meant for? And that's a tough question, but I am leaning more towards the intermediate to experienced players because they are players that can control or that can manage the heavy fate of four. However, if you are a beginner, you may wanna pick up a Cayman so that you can have a disc that you can throw as hard as you want and can trust a fade back to the target. So it's really dependent on you and what you currently have in your bag. All right, so that sums up the review of the Innova Cayman. It's a wonderful disc, one that I feel really trumps the Gator. I love it because it just feels so good and it has that trusty fade, especially for my forehands. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've tried this disc or if you're looking to pick one up. And thanks for watching Just Disc. I'll see you guys in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.